As for the trade posts, because of their ever-shifting inventory of things they could sell, could buy, things being on display, this changes the layout of the trade post itself. Taking everyday objects in the trading post, like uh, weapon terminals, something that you would purchase, would then, as soon as a fight is initiated, that becomes cover. You would be using these things to help yourself to not get shot by the enemy, essentially. So you could be ducking behind cover behind a ship component that you want to purchase for your ship later, but first you've got to take care of this rival gang attacking you. Then afterwards you can decide, hey, I need to grab a multi-tool for this other salvage mission I need to go to. So after the firefight is finished, he goes to the counter, pick up your multi-tool with a salvage component, pay for it, chip's done, and off you head out. Taking what we've learned and these setups from Squadron 42 to Pyro, for example, NPCs having specific archetypes and having more specific classes, using things like defend areas and keeping NPCs in specific areas, Pyro, we're taking that to the next level where we're having more specific areas used for defenses and things like that and making areas stay in NPCs. We're also using something called schedule areas, which basically enforces NPCs to stay within a certain vicinity in combat. For 4.0, with server meshing, we expect higher server frame rates. So the idea is that you'll get a much more engaging AI experience. 